is shocking. It, it hurts when, 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 you, when, you see, uh, when you see these wounded people and, 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 and the type of, of wounds they, they have. It is a very difficult life for civilians to live under the threat of, of rocket attacks and not just since a few days or a few weeks or a few months but, 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 but since years. And I understand that especially f for children the experience uh, can, can, be, can be very, very traumatic. It is a positive step when you have a three-hour stop of fighting for doing your humanitarian work. But it's not sufficient. I mean people, people who are being wounded, civilians who are being wounded, civilians who are being trapped with problems of hunger and without water, you must be able to have access to them, that you can reach them, you can, you can collect them, you can care for them, you can evacuate for them. So I, I think it, it, it is a very important point. For these Palestinian Red Crescent Society, it's, it's important that they can do, they, are, they have the motivation. It is important that they can do, that they can do this humanitarian work by being able to count on the protection of the medical mission. The protection of the medical mission is a major obligation. From a humanitarian point of view, especially from an organization like CICRC, which has the medical relief very much at its center, you must have access 24 hours to 24 hours when people are wounded. And I think everybody who would be wounded in such a situation would expect, would expect humanitarian organizations to have access, or at least if they do not have access, they would expect that the parties to the conflict take care of them.